As we pick up reading daily in the Word, in Exodus 4, we find Moses in an argument with God. Don't ever do that. I'm just saying, it's never a good idea. You'll remember from chapter 3, God spoke through a burning bush, and he called Moses to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt. Later, God tells Moses to call all the elders of Israel together to tell them what he's going to do. And in the first verse of chapter 4, Moses continues with a string of arguments, excuses really, saying, what if they won't believe me or listen to me? What if they say, the Lord never appeared to you? Then the Lord asked him, verse 2, what is that in your hand? And this begins a series of signs God shows to Moses, displaying his great power and encouraging Moses to do what he asked. First, God turned a shepherd's staff into a snake and back again. Then God turned one of Moses' hands white with leprosy and he made it healthy once more. And finally, God said, if they still don't believe you, take some water from the Nile River and pour it onto the dry ground. And when you do, it'll turn to blood. Not mud, blood. But Moses still pleaded with the Lord. And here's why you don't argue with God. Then, verse 14, the Lord became angry with Moses. All right, he said, what about your brother, Aaron the Levite? Long story short, God agrees to send Moses and his brother Aaron to share with the elders of Israel. And when they hear that the Lord was concerned about them and had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshiped the Lord. Do you ever find yourself arguing with the Lord, making excuses to the Lord? Let's learn this lesson from Moses. Don't argue with God and don't delay the worship service that's planned when His will is accomplished.